folks, it's Sarah with Obadiah's, and today I have the Fire Belly Raisin Wood Cook Stove. Right now it's totally taken apart, so I'm going to take you guys around the stove and give you a full technical overview. Okay, so this is the cooktop removed on the Raisin Wood Cook Stove. So it does have a nice gasket around the cooktop to keep it even. Um, the fluid collar is welded into the stove and we do still have the top and damper installed here. So basically the only damper control is going to be located right here on the right hand side of the stove and as you can see the air holes as you slide the damper. Pushed all the way to the right will be closed. Pushed to the left will be open. This is the airflow into your combustion chamber, into your firebox. Um, they do actually have this nice fireproof door that you can put in front of the glass. So that can be a handy feature to have if you're cooking in front of the stove for extended periods of time. Your inner fire door only opens up slightly so it's not super practical for loading wood um, so basically you'd probably only want to run this door installed when you're actually doing a lot of cooking and after you've loaded your fire inside the oven with all of the paneling fully removed it is basically just an open painted black oven one thing I will point out you'll notice there's no oven clean out on the front. It's actually located on the bottom of the oven below the stove. So here you can see that it does have the air gap in between the paneling for your sheet metal so that'll give it that convection style to create a nice airflow and heat distribution off the stove. Inside the firebox from the top you do have a stainless steel baffle that sits over the top of the firebox. Side construction of the stove with the panel fully removed. I would say this is about just over an inch of airspace. The adapter for the stove comes standard with it and it is a primary function to the overall control of the stove because this is basically going to be your damper control. Um, so when it is vertical, you're not going to be having heat going into the baking oven and as it's flat down that's what's going to push and circulate the heat around the stove so when your lever is going to be pulled all the way down or facing horizontal you that would be your baking oven on straight up vertical disengages the baking oven here we have the back view of the stove here's your label with your clearances your UL listing. Um, it does have a insulated wrapped back panel, fireproof insulation to keep low clearances and then these standoffs on the rear of the stove. Underneath the ash pan in the firebox also has a vermiculite baffle for insulation so that's what's going to keep the floor clearances to a type 1 protection top view of the stove so here's your air chamber around the baking oven so there is no um, bottom combustion air inlet and then for the oven damper control it's actually going to be your flu collar right here so this flu collar when it is faced down like this and your handle is horizontal that is going to be opening up your oven for baking when it's lifted vertical, your plate will be vertical, and that would be like cooking or just burning mode for you know, having a fire or heating the home. Here we have the inside view of the firebox on the raisin. The rear and the sides of the stove are going to be vermiculite, and then the bottom is going to be actual masonry fire brick. The ash pan is kind of slick how it slides out here. So it doesn't take up any of the depth in the firebox. Um, so basically, you'd remove this. And this is what you would use to scrape your ashes into your ash pan. 
So I really hope that you guys are finding these videos helpful. I get a lot of amazing feedback from you guys on the phone and in the comments. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So if you like our content, please don't forget to give them a thumbs up, share them with people that you know that are interested in these products. Um, we really try and give you like a full demonstration of everything that you're going to be getting with your stove, what to expect, your burn times, how to maintain it before you make a purchase. I totally understand that this is a very large purchase and you wanna have it right the first time. So I'm here to help you guys out. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. Also, you can send me an email off of our website or give us a call at the office. I am always available to help you out with your guys' cook stove or heating needs. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless. Have a wonderful day.